Hello everyone, Derek Leclerc here and you are all very welcome to this live stream today and for those of you watching the replay you are all very welcome so please do like, do share, do comment on my live stream and let's spread the word. So today I'm going to talk to you about my third tip in my free giveaway which I will share the link at the end of this live stream with you if you wish to sign up for it. It's five week business tips. So today I'm talking about the tip that I share with you in week three and it's all about putting yourself out on social media. Now obviously you're on social media if you're watching me at this point, however you may be somebody who's hiding, who's just dipping your toe in the water and who's afraid to be really visible on social media and I know what that feels like because I didn't want to go on Facebook, I didn't want to be seen, I wanted to hide but because the way the world is going a lot of business is done online and businesses, a certain category of businesses, if we don't put ourselves out there on social media we may actually not connect to a lot of our sole clients who are actually waiting for us to show up because a lot of my work is done through Skype. Yes, I work in person, but I can also work in Skype, which opens up a world of possibilities for me. So social media is an integral part of my business. And if you're watching me and you know that it's an integral part of your business, but that you're feeling a bit scared of putting yourself out there and becoming more visible, you are not alone. I've been there, I've done that, I've overcome a lot of my fears and challenges and yes there will be always more up leveling to be done as we grow and evolve in our business. So what can stop us from putting ourselves on social media? The bottom line is a lot of it is fear and feeling that we're not good enough, fear that we're going to be judged and criticised and a common story that I hear from people is that people are actually afraid of their family and friends and maybe other colleagues seeing them on social media and maybe judging them and talking about them behind their back or criticizing them, so criticizing them. And I get all of that because they were my thoughts and my feelings. However, it is important to realize that as much and all as those people may be part of our lives, they are not the people who are here to serve in our business. So why would we hold ourselves back because of maybe a handful of people who were bothered about judging us, who we may feel upset if they, you know, say something negative or if they post a negative comment on Facebook. The thing is to remember, it's not about them. This is your business. You are here, you have a divine contract to serve a particular soul tribe that you've been put on this earth. There are only people who you can serve in, all, in your own unique way. There are many people like me who are into energy work and energy healing. But I'm not here to serve their clients and they're not here to, here to serve my clients. Because each of us have our own, our unique soul energy blueprint. Each of us have our unique talent and skills and my way of sharing even tapping emotional freedom techniques is very different to the way other practitioners out there share it. So it's about sharing your gifts with the world and not being afraid to do that. Now not being afraid to do that isn't always as easy as, to, as saying oh well just get over yourself and do it. That hasn't been my experience. My experience is that I've had to move through my own fears, my own limitations. I did some tapping before I set up my first Facebook page. I didn't want to be seen, I wanted to hide, but yet at the same time I knew deep in my heart and my soul that online was the place where my business is going to thrive. I just know it deep in my heart and soul. So I had to find a way to move through the resistance, to move through the fear, to move through the discomfort of a family liking my page or people who I didn't maybe expect to like my page and getting out of the negative thought spin and stopping those thoughts 
in their tracks so that I'm not stopped in my tracks in getting out there and supporting the people that I'm here to serve. Because ultimately, it's not even about me. It's about those people who are waiting for me to show up. And, you know, we can be afraid of, of posting on social media. We may hide maybe spiritual gifts that we've been given. We may think that if we're into energy work and all of the, maybe the angelic realms and the spiritual world, that people will scoff and laugh at us. But you know what? Your soul will keep calling you to move forward. It will keep nudging you to move through that resistance and that fear because ultimately that's what you've been put on this earth to share. Um, my connection is showing us weak. I hope it's staying strong enough. So for those of you, maybe, you know, your business might be outside of the norm of the standard shop or business that supplies goods. And it can be a little bit what's classified as woo-woo like mine. And yes, it takes time to establish um, comfort on social media and social media can change so often that there is always that learning involved in it. But it's about putting up your posts. And if you do get a negative comment or something that upsets you, well, remember that, that that's not about you. That other person has a different point of view, has a different opinion, has a different perception on life. So just stop taking it personally. If it does upset you, well, you can use tapping, you can breathe, you can walk, you can dance, you can use color to release that stuck energy that comes up in your body. So being on social media is very good for building relationships, building relationships in business, building relationships with coaches, with online supportive groups. So for me, it has opened up a, a huge world of possibilities for me, a huge world of connections. I have met some amazing, amazing people through energy work, through the groups that I'm in, through coaching, through mentoring, through um, groups that are there to support people like myself in business and going through the different stages of actually setting up a business like mine. So the support for me far outweighs the limitations of going on social media. And I can put my hand on my heart and tell you that I am 100% so delighted that um, Facebook has been established and that Facebook is a great method of bringing people together, of building communities, we can have communities that are open forum on public pages. We can have the closed groups that always bring that element of relaxation and feeling of support and understanding for people. And so I say to you, you know, if you're on social media right now, but you really want to up your game, but you're feeling afraid you're feeling afraid of being criticized you're judging yourself for the way that you look maybe you're comparing yourself to those other coaches or those other business people in your arena and you're telling yourself well they're prettier than me they're smarter than me they have more money than me they have more resources than me it's easy for them well i tell you every single person out there who's successful started just like i started started just like you started i started in my kitchen on the kitchen table and the couch. Um, it was the only place I had connection to the internet until I've got better internet here. The universe will come in and support you. The universe will bring you people to support you on your journey. So remember, you can build a wonderful community online. You can connect with your soul tribe online and it's all about energy. So if you're feeling fearful, if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling overwhelmed about being more visible on social media, well then I suggest that you sign up for, for my five week tips. You will get a, an email outlining my own personal journey in relation to what I'm talking about and obviously I can't share all of it. It's, it's a, a synopsis of some of the emotions that I felt and then hope that this isn't too weak I'm going to move it back then you will get a tapping script that you can download you can have it in your bag you can have it handy by your side so that if you do start to feel overwhelmed or feel a bit anxious about going on social media 
you have that to support you. And also I've created a video for you to tap along with me to release stress and anxiety and fear that are holding you back from becoming more visible, from sharing your light with the world so that you can attract your ideal clients. Because remember, you are unique. There is only one of you on this planet. Now, how amazing is that? So it's time for you to be seen. It's time for you to share your message in your own unique way. That doesn't happen overnight. It's an ongoing process. Businesses grow and evolve, and it's important for us to grow and evolve along with our businesses because ultimately we are our businesses. So if we hold on to that fear, that stress, that limitations, well then we're not going to spread the word, share our gifts with the world in a way that we're born to do that. Now the choice is yours as to how big you want your following to be on social media. The choice is yours as to how many clients you say yes to because ultimately you know you can say yes you can say no and I think that going on social media what brings up fear for people is that they don't actually have control over who's watching their posts they don't have control over who likes their business page yes if we have groups online we can accept people or we can say well actually I feel that you're not a right fit for this group. So being the administrators of the group, we can control that. However, we can't control whether somebody likes or doesn't like what we share on our pages. But my own personal experience and my own journey is every step forward I take, every piece of fear that I move through, move through, brings me to a different level of awareness about myself, lets go of limiting beliefs and fears that I've held on to. And these fears can stem from in your childhood. This fear of being judged or ridiculed or criticised can often stem back to something that happened in the school playground or something when you were growing up in your family or with siblings or friends outside of that. So never underestimate how your fear is actually a gift because your fear is showing you what it is that if you move through it will bring freedom on the other side and that's why I love emotional freedom techniques because it does that it does bring freedom from those heavy feelings of fear of stress and anxiety so if you want to be more visible on social media Sign up for my five tips. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. And you can find out more about me at www.derdleclark.com and feel free to private message me if you have any queries. Comment below on, you know, do you love social media? Does it bring up some fear and some unresolved emotions for you? Self-doubt, judgment, comparison, any of what I've spoken about. So I would love for you to comment below let me know and I'll share the link in the comments below of this Facebook live so that's it talking about my week three tip today